Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, welcome. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the great DIYs from the channel. And we would love to have you as a part of the family. So what I'm making for you today, guys, is a pallet wood wall art or wall sign. I had some leftover craft wood from a project that I made for a client. So what I'm doing first is I'm going to just do a glue up and I'm just using wood glue. I like it because I think it works pretty well. It holds all of my signs together really good. Especially if I don't use a piece of wood on the back side to staple. Yes, I'm trying to center it because these two pieces on the end are a little bit longer than the rest of the pieces. Now we're going to let that set. Come back in about an hour. We're going to do a little light sanding. You don't have to sand as much because craft wood is pretty good from the start. It's, it's a pretty good wood. So now I'm using Minwax Stain and this is an ebony. It's actually the same color as the farmhouse table that I did in one of my projects. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link in the description box. Now I'm gonna go back after I use the sponge brush with the old t-shirt and come back about an hour later. I'm using a stencil that I bought at Walmart a while back. Um, I think it was about $10 and it, had a, it has a whole bunch of different um, sayings in that one little package. I'm just gonna use a couple of pieces of tape in different spots to secure it to the sign. And I'm using some old white paint that I had in my craft room already. Just using a dab on motion. Going back to the paint. I'm going to start using this paper on top of my craft table guys because you know I get real messy when I'm crafting. Already have to re refinish the surface of my craft table. You just keep dabbing until you reach all the way to the end. Real easy like. Once you're finished, you usually wait about another hour, but I went ahead and took it off and here you go. I love the sign. I'm going to put it in my craft.